There we are. Anyway, good morning, Double R Radio Friday morning. You're probably going, Robert, where in the hell have you been, Robert? Um, I was sicky. I was a little sicky, but now I'm feeling a little bit better, at least more better than sicky, which is a good thing. It's a very, very, very good thing. I'm not live on the radio yet, but I'm getting ready to go live. So, look, uh, let me hit a couple of buttons here, and we'll talk a little bit. Good morning, Double R Radio, Friday morning, Freeform Friday at its very, very best. Who was that? Um, I beg your pardon, Concan, if I got that right. Anyways, good morning, Friday morning it is. Want to make sure I got all the buttons here cleared up and hit everything I needed to hit, and I think I'm good to go. Yes, I am. Anyways, uh, we are at January the 8th, 2021, 8.37 por la mañana. Friday morning, the weekend is here, whatever that means, right? Weekends are not the same anymore. They, weekends are not the same anymore. They really, really aren't. Um, I don't know, man. Yesterday I was doing some running around doing the Uber thing in the afternoon. And it's funny, man. I saw two or three bars where you could see somebody sweeping on the inside and they were cleaning up a little bit. But I don't think the bars are open right now. But I just thought to myself, you know, I remember when we had the option. We had, um, yeah, we had the option of stopping at if you want to stop at a bar or a restaurant or whatever and do your thing, whatever. And I mean, I used to love doing that back in the day, but now it's not that way no more. And I'm okay be, you know, staying at home, cracking open a beer and watching something on TV. I'm good with all that at my age. Yeah, I'm in Pasiwado. I'm all settled down. I'm good with all that. But really, uh, just things have changed. They really, really have. I want to make sure I got everything here right. I think I do. Let's get back over here and I'm okay over here. And we're good to go. Anyways, <clears throat> I had just talked about this the other day to where I was saying that I hadn't been to Sonic in a long, 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 long time. And I decided yesterday, I was out there, I went to Divine, Texas. I had to take a passenger from downtown San Antonio all the way to Divine. And um, I was starving. It was around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I always save myself and I say, I'll wait till I get home and I'll make something to eat. Or I'll pick something up right next to Mikasa. Take it home. It's that simple. But yesterday I said, if I'm going to be at her for a little bit and try to get a return trip, I might as well kill some time and get something to eat. And I said, I haven't been to Sonic forever. So I decided to stop at Sonic and get their Coney Island dog. Now, their Coney Island dog is kind of like a long foot long with uh, melted cheese, chili, um, tater tots, and a soda. For seven twenty nine, really not that bad of a deal. But what gets to me is when they think they're slick, right? You order, can I take your order? And uh, I'll take the Coney Island with tater tots and a soda, medium or large. They always throw that crap at you, medium or large. What happened to small? And I told them, um, do y'all have small? Yes, we do. Well, then why didn't you offer me that? Sir, would you like medium or large? But do you have small? Yes, we do. Well, then I'll take small. You know, they, they, they try to screw you over. They really do. They try to force medium or large on you. So anyways, I got that deal. And I'm not going to lie to you, man. The tater tots were very good. But the Coney Island dog... That was a very mediocre weenie. That's all I'm going to say. It really was. I, I really, it was just kind of like, okay. It was like, eh, not a, not a big of a thing of a deal or whatever the case may be. Good morning, John. I got out to Diana Morales. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Dolores Rivas Fernandez. Good morning. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. How we doing? So anyways, let's see what's going on out here, man. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, if I got a cough here or there once in a while. Uh, please excuse me, but uh, I still got the little congestion going on, little sniffles, little cough, but I should be good to go. Now, let's see here what's going on. <coughs> there we are. Get that cough out of the way. Um, I talked about this yesterday. I'm going to talk about this again today. New Jersey McDonald's. A New Jersey McDonald's was invaded by two chickens that were wreaking havoc on customers. Where the chickens came from, nobody knows. But police had to be called on these two chickens that would not leave customers driving up through the drive through alone. They kept on pecking on the tires, on the bodywork, on the bumpers, 
So cops were called, police showed up, they arrested the two chickens, and uh, they didn't take them to jail. They took them to the kitchen of McDonald's. Now uh, they're kind of in between two buns with mayo, lettuce, tomate, and all that other good stuff. Those stupid chickens. Don't they understand if they were going to hang around like that, they were going to be in somebody's stomach about two hours later? Well, anyway, there you have it uh, on the McDonald's chickens up there in uh, yep, either. Now, here we go. I talked about this yesterday as well. South Korea is paying uh, residents to have babies. Um, the way it works is that they're loaning people $100,000. Now, that's with no kids. Couples with no kids, they're giving you a loan of $100,000. Now, let's say you have one baby, you don't got to pay $30,000 back. If you have two babies, you don't have to pay $60,000 back. And if you have three babies, you don't have to pay $90,000 of it back. That's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal right there. I may go to South Korea. Hey, man. Uh, that's a pretty good chunk of change right there. I'll hang out there for three years, have three kids, and come back home with $90,000. And the three child supports. There you go. So I, I think I better just play it safe and stay right here. Next story. A world record by setting in one ring. Check this out. 12,638 diamonds in one ring. In one ring. 12,638. Diamonds in one ring. I can't even put a fake diamond in one ring. I can't. And this guy here puts 12,638 diamonds in one ring. Man. Well, I said, uh, word has it that he gave this ring to his fiance and she still hasn't put out. So, man, that's a. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Sounds like the guy has serious problems, right? You can't have a girl a ring like that if she's not putting out. <laughs> uh, it's time to look elsewhere, buddy. It really, really is. Let me see here. Where am I at? Don't want to miss anybody here. There we go. Good morning, John. I got out the Double R Radio sponsor. Me, Primo. Roger Rivas. How you doing, Primo? Good morning. Also, Sylvia Solis. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For Cindy Martinez Hernandez. Uh, San Antonio, Texas, good morning. Diana Casa is Buenos Dias. D ever so political. Michelle Cohen. Oh, yes, Michelle. See all that crap that was going on in Washington, Michelle? I could have sworn I saw you there, Michelle. I could have sworn I saw you there. That better not have been you, Michelle. You're a rowdy one. So, anyways, uh, Michelle is very, very political. That she is. Good morning, Micaela. Anyways, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? How much time do I have? Um, I got a little bit of time. Anyways, uh, it is Friday morning. Here we are, the weekend again. The first weekend for 2021, right? Do I got that right? And 20, no, no, actually, the second weekend for 2021. And um, yesterday I took my car to the car wash because I'm too lazy to wash my car. I took it to the car wash. And uh, I got to tell you, man, those guys were right on it. They were vacuuming and cleaning the inside and doing this and doing that. And I was ready. You know, I always tip them 2 or $3. I always do. So when they call your name... Robert Rivas, and that's me right here. And then I go out there, and they give you the keys, like in a little Kleenex kind of a thing to show you that it's been sanitized and everything, right? And I go, oh, let me take care of you, right? I got my wallet, right, right, and wiped uh, the, the dust off of it, right? I said, man, dude, um, I hardly carry money, but I've only got a dollar. He goes, oh, that's okay, sir. I said, no, 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 hang on, hang on. So um, I went to my car, and I had a box of candy canes that I've been giving out during Christmas time, doing the Uber thing. So I said, um, get some candy canes out to the boys. There you go. Get candy canes out to the boys out there in the back. Get them some candy canes. There you go. So I could feel better about them because, you know, they deserve a tip. And if I can't give them money, I'll give them um, expired candy canes. There you go. And I think they're going to be okay, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with giving out expired candy canes. You know, yesterday I went to H-E-B and I felt like a little viejito. Lately, I've been craving. This is all true, man. Lately, because I've been kind of congested and sick and whatever the case. So lately, I've been craving fruit, puddings. So I bought bananas. I bought tapioca pudding. I bought banana pudding. I bought rice pudding. And uh, what else did I buy? Um, I bought uh, some... Uh, uh, a cup. Uh, actually, I bought a couple of plums as well, 
and uh, I bought some Jello. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm buying this stuff. Like, heck, man, I almost went and bought a box of diapers. I said, I might as well. Let's get this thing over with. But um, I didn't do that yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Uh -uh. So anyways, I bought all this viejito stuff. I really, really did. And uh, and I thought to myself, you know, uh, usually when I come to H-E-B, nine times out of ten, i got to buy a 12-pack of beer. I haven't had that beer. All true. And ice cold, I'm enjoying this beer kind of a beer in about 10 days, maybe two weeks. I really haven't. Not one beer. You're probably going, man, Robert, what an alcoholic. No, no, i just been sicky, and uh, I'm really going to try, and uh, I'm going to try and force a beer down this afternoon and see what happens. But anyways, let's keep it going. Denise Williams, let's hear it for the buy, and let's hear it for the weekend. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Friday morning, it is great to be back live in the living color. I know the other days I was like, man, I wasn't really up to going live or whatever. I really wasn't up to doing this thing right now, but I said, hey, man, I got to show people that I'm still alive, at least for right now. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, Robert Reeves Radio com. Simple, Robert Reeves Radio com. Just click on that media player button, and you'll be joining me live. It is free form Friday. Uh, well, let me hear. Let me hit a button here. Uh, cause I'm doing something new here and I think we're good. Join me now. <laughs> 